So as a caregiver, I've decided to get Kevin to go green for the next 72 hours. We have a weekend ahead of us. It's a good time for us to try to use only cloth diapers and plastic pants and get away from using disposable diapers. It's the morning. It's about 5 a.m. This is what time I normally wake up. Being incontinent, the you have to have confidence in what you're wearing because leaks are your enemy. They, they're not only inconvenient, they also add guilt and shame, at least for me. So being confident in the protection you're wearing to avoid leaks is super important. Say with cloth, just right off the bat, you know, you can, you can add as many cloth layers as needed to make sure that there isn't a leak. At night, you know, the, the bulkiness of it isn't, you know, something you need to worry about, like if you were going out. Um, so in that aspect, that's nice. And no, I didn't leak. Uh, I didn't leak last night, but I definitely feel like I'm wearing four or five pillows around my groin area. I, I don't like that. I think today we're supposed to go for a long walk or go do something to test, you know, being active and moving about how cloth holds up. So we're headed down to the swap meet, have some uh, water pills here. And today's little trial is for him to take some water pills, um, drink a lot of water, and then really test out how these plastic pants around the cloth diaper will work for um, his skin and walking around and chafing or anything like that. And also the durability of like holding up a cloth diaper. I'm interested in that piece too. So he needs to be plenty hydrated. I wanted to make sure you drink this. Kevin and backpacks. I guess I have to cut him some slack because backpacks double as diaper bags around here. So Kevin's ventured in to see how he can change with cloth to see how this works out while we're out and about. So I ended up changing in that bathroom. I changed out of uh, ones that were pinned on into the uh, rear's training pants with a couple of cloth liners inside. That was a bad decision because that involved me completely removing my pants in a bathroom stall that was very busy. Um, kind of an awkward place to do such a thing. We've also learned that the plastic pants uh, size is very important. Um, when you wear plastic pants over a disposable, for those that do, you know, it's kind of a secondary backup system for leaks. But with cloth, you know, it's it's important that you got a tight fit, that it's a waterproof seal, you know, because with cloth diapers, there is no backing to uh, contain the moisture. So when wearing cloth diapers, especially out and about walking around, it's important that they're a, a, a tight fit. One, to hold the... Uh, the moisture in and two to hold the heaviness the bulk of um, a cloth diaper up you know it wants to fall it wants to sag in the clip that we just showed you can see that I'm wearing a rears um, onesie it's like a polo shirt that has a snap uh, crotch in the middle to kind of help hold things up but even with that I had the wrong choice of plastic pants you know there was some sagginess going on I don't get that with the disposables. I've also developed uh, quite the irritation around my thighs with the plastic pants. So our 72 hour cloth diaper challenge is pretty much coming to an end. Um, we started the weekend thinking this was something that we needed to at least try and it was important to try to go green and we did that. We, we gave it a good go and we put it to the test with 
walking around the marketplace and um, changing while he, we were out and those types of things. So um, I just wanted to take some time to recap with you what our conclusions are, what we have found. Um, first of all, like I said, the, the purpose was to try to go green and of course save some money. I mean, these are the economical way to go. Um, and it's also the green way to go. Um, in this case, we were using 100% cotton cloth diapers. So from my research, I've seen bird's eye, I've seen flannel out there, um, different materials people have used, maybe even a hybrid of those things. But um, in this case, I wanted to be truthful and upfront what we were using, and that is 100% cotton. Supposedly, they're supposed to be softer than the flannel um, and softer than the bird's eye. We don't know because we don't have those products. We just have 100% cotton. So when you get the 100% cotton, you're supposed to wash it first. Supposedly they become softer um, as you wash them. After like five times, they're supposed to be like prime, ready to go kind of situation with, with cloth diapers. Um, I remember as a kid, my mom using cloth diapers with my sister. Uh, we've gone disposable with our kid, um, but definitely economical. We're spending a lot of money on diapers, both adult and baby, and it's the way to go for that that portion. portion. In our case, um, we were trying like three types of cloth, meaning three like designs. We had um, a pre-fold standard diaper that you would like tri-fold and then fold up the front and then have the wings and then either you use some kind of device to clip them on or pens whatever you're doing there. Uh, we also had a contour. This is an example of a contour. It's cut already um, to fit your body for a, like a slimmer look. But either way um, especially the pre-fold, the, the middle part is called a soaker panel, and that soaker panel is supposed to be like 10 layers thick. So that's where most of your, um, your moisture is going to be, so that's the part you want the thickest. So that's the soaker panel in the center. So we had the pre-fold, the contour, and then the third one was like an insert, and it was basically just a long panel that you could insert into maybe like one of those prefab outside type diapers, which we don't have, but we kind of used it as like a booster, a cloth booster, where you could insert it where you needed that extra protection. So pre-fold, contour, and insert. We used a combination of those. So sometimes we would use a pre-fold and a contour, sometimes we just use a contour, sometimes we would use a contour and an insert. So um, we kind of just tried different things and um, we wanted to go over those conclusions with you. We're gonna kind of start with the downside. Laundering is a hassle. It's part of the reason that I use disposable with the baby. Laundering to me is just um, a hassle in the fact that what do you do with these dirty diapers in between when you're not really ready like to have a full load to put in the wash. So you're ending up with diapers sitting around, but you're also kind of dedicating um, a laundry session to disposable diapers every day. Now granted, that's more economical probably than disposables, but that's a lot of water and a lot of time and a lot of effort to remember that you've got to get things washed and reprepped and you don't want things sitting around. So laundering is the big downside. Um, now, skin-wise, the cloth diapers are great against the skin. I mean, 100% cotton, nice and soft. Um, Kevin had no complaints about that. But with a cloth diaper, you have to wear some kind of outer layer. So the plastic pants were the downside of this situation. The plastic pants are really tight around the legs and around the waist, of course, to help with leakage. But then that causes um, irritation against the skin. That, that elastic is, is on your skin all the time um, on some very sensitive parts of skin too like the inner part of your leg is, is sensitive so um, 
walking around, chafing, that kind of thing. I'm sure it, it just didn't feel good. We we are dealing with some some irritation in the areas of the plastic pants touching his skin and where those came in contact. Uh, we have some issues there that we have to take care of. Another big downside is we're, we try to stay pretty active. And while we're out and about, changing a cloth diaper requires the wearer to take off the plastic pants, which would mean taking off your shoes and your pants to get the plastic pants off. So that isn't the most conducive to an active lifestyle. We talked about the plastic pants already. Um, they do make outer layers or other um, outer shells that like have the snaps on the side, which could help with having to take your shoes and pants off to change. But anywhere that there's a separation is going to be a spot where there could be leakage. So snaps on the side would mean more spots for moisture to get out. Um, so more areas, more chance of, of leakage. Okay, so those are kind of the downsides. But we think we have found the sweet spot in nighttime use. So nighttime use, wonderful. Uh, these things are going to save your mattress. If you are just a bedwetter, like you have a, a bedwetting issue, or if you have heavy incontinence that you have to worry about at night, um, these can be the economical save all for that. Um, of course you still have to deal with the laundering, but you can put the fabric where you need it. Kevin felt he could sleep on his side, he could sleep on his back, everything was protected. Um, it just really did what he dreamed it could do for him in comfort and protection for nighttime. So nighttime's where it's at for cloth diapers. Another thing we learned while doing this experiment is the use of the onesie shirts. Um, we have several. We sometimes use them, sometimes we don't. But with these, we definitely needed to use them because you've got to hold this weight up while you're out and about. So we use the onesie shirts. The snapping between the legs really kept everything up, kept everything neat, tidy looking. This made us realize, so using them this weekend made us realize we need to be using the onesies more often with our disposable diapers. So we will probably be doing a video on onesies, dedicating a whole video to onesies and what's out there very, very soon. So make sure you tune back for that. We are going to adapt. We're going to adapt using cloth diapers and disposable when appropriate because there's definitely an appropriate time and an appropriate place for both cloth and disposables. So you will probably hear us talk about using both now from this point on on the channel. So the overall conclusion. Managing incontinence is a very personal matter because it's your personal set of preferences and your lifestyle and how you want to feel in whatever product you're using. So it's important that you try different products, you try everything that's out there, and then adapt all of those products to what you need as the consumer. I know my job as a caregiver is to try to make Kevin as comfortable as possible in managing his incontinence so that nothing gets out of hand. We want to be happy and healthy. You want your um, your spouse, your partner, your mom, your dad, your aunts, your uncles, whoever's dealing with incontinence to feel comfortable taking care of the matter so that they can be as active and as happy and as healthy as they can be. So thanks for watching our 72 hour cloth diaper challenge video. Um, remember that happiness is a choice. Everyone should choose wisely and we will see you next time.